With so many massive headlines in the technology world so far this month, you're bound to have missed some very interesting ones in the background. So I've trawled through Bloomberg.com to find out which stories you're most likely to have missed. Let's go. The year 2020 felt like one of those Simpsons Halloween special episodes that offers viewers a glimpse of three short, surreal stories that can only exist in a twisted, alternate reality. For us, though, unexpected strangeness was a very real thing this year, so let's take a look at three stories nobody in the technology world saw coming, and which may go on to impact 2021. The late Steve Jobs told his biographer, Walter Isaacson, that he would spend all of Apple's money to destroy Android, which he believed was a product that copied the iPhone. This year, though, the pandemic prompted Google and Apple to work together on technology that lets iPhones and Android phones help track and trace COVID-19 infections. The companies made joint announcements and held joint telephone briefings with reporters to explain how they were collaborating. I was on some of those briefings and it felt like these were two parents who maybe after a long running and bitter divorce suddenly agreed to tell their children they'd set aside their differences just for a while so they could organize a fantastic camping trip. Will the frenemy truce last into 2021 though? Also earlier this year, the world's biggest video streaming companies implied that billions of people being locked down and bored in their homes during the pandemic risked the internet collapsing under the demand for TV shows and Zoom calls. Netflix, YouTube, Facebook, Disney+, Apple, Amazon, there were many, many more, and they all said they'd reduce the video quality of their streaming services so the enormous simultaneous demand for them didn't overwhelm the capacity of internet service providers. The internet never did collapse though, and many ISPs actually said there was no need for it at all, and that they were set up to handle the load. So for me, I'm looking forward to seeing if 2021 will be the year some of these streaming companies say, well, if the bandwidth's there, how high can we ramp up video quality? With 8K resolution TVs on the horizon and streaming being probably the best way to get content to display on them, maybe the ISPs should double check their capacity is going to hold up. And finally, while most people expect Elon Musk to make wildly ambitious promises about his businesses that he often goes on to deliver, far few expected him this year to talk about testing a brain interface technology on animals. In August, though, my colleague Ashley Vance wrote that the billionaire introduced the world to a group of pigs with mind-reading brain implants. At the headquarters of his startup Neuralink, he showed reporters several pigs that had previously undergone a surgical procedure in which a robot placed the latest version of the company's computing implant into their brains. As a result, the brain activity of the animals could be transmitted wirelessly to a nearby computer, allowing onlookers at the event to watch the animals' neurons fire as veterinarians stroked their snouts. Musk spoke enthusiastically at the event about the potential for the technology to address brain injuries and other disorders. But these were just some of my highlights of unexpected stories from what I think we can all agree was a very bizarre year. But tell me yours, and how do you see these stories or the ones you've spotted changing the way we live, do business and learn next year? For Quick Take in London, I'm Nate Langson, and I've been Technically Speaking. For more tech stories that you may otherwise miss, keep your eye on Bloomberg.com. But don't worry, I'll be doing the same, and I'll be here next month with another selection for you.